So these are 5.0's dev notes. I'm hoping we have something good here. I hope. We got world level 9 unlocked. That sounds intriguing. Regional specialty tracking function are now available. All right. So, uh, you know, when it comes to, to these guys, like th these devs specifically, not high overs, I mean, like specifically Genshin devs, I, I just, they make some really weird decisions. You know, it's like the ZZZ devs and the Star Rail devs are on a whole different planet in comparison to them. So uh, let's, let's hope that we got something good here. Let's see what they're cooking. So we got in version 5.0, level, world level nine will be unlocked. Regional specialty tracking and long quest prompts. Long quest prompts? Food system and Serenity Teapot. Okay. All right. World level nine unlocked and basic drop rate for certain uh, certain opponents optimized. If you reach AR 58, you can choose if you want to upgrade to lower level nine. All right. So we get like another quest line for it or just world level? Level nine is increased to nine. Or when world levels increase to nine, the levels of normal opponents, elite opponents, such as Electro Hypostasis, Pride of Registine. In the open world, they'll be increased to about 10. About 10? Making the battles more challenging. Of course, the rewards for defeating opponents in the open world will be more generous. For example, defeating a world, a world level boss that's level nine. Uh, or sorry, a world level nine boss will guarantee you a three, okay, three character material drop. So now it's guaranteed. So now it's not like, oh, you might get two sometimes, maybe get three sometimes. And now it's always going to be three. That is a W. That's a W. That's going to help with like farming bosses by a lot, but <laughs> more generous. Also, if I point out basic drop rates for the following opponents will be optimized. I know ruin graders are definitely kind of or ruin guards are kind of low, but OK. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not, yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good because like the Nobushi and the Karagi. Yeah, they barely drop anything, so that's good. It should just be for everybody, really. But yeah, I can understand this this lineup right here because you barely get anything for specters and stuff like that. So, with the increased world level, drop rates have more materials. Wow, nice," said Paimon. Regional specialty tracking function and increased total map pins limit. Okay, map pins limit, nice. And now you can. Oh, okay. They got blue circles for specific regional mats. That helps. That helps. That's a big help. That's a big help. We'll take that. We take those. After collecting all the specialties in a certain area, blue circles will automatically recommend new locations for corresponding regional specialties. They gotta make sure they're careful with the world quests because sometimes you don't have an area unlocked, but they still show you like, hey, it's over here, and it's like you don't, you haven't done that yet to go to that area. So I hope they kind of take that into consideration as well. But increase by 50 for map pins. Okay, I'll take it. We'll take it. New update to crafting bench mystic offering. After 5.0, eight new artifact sets. Eight will be exchanged to the mystic offering crap table. Deep Wood Memories, Nymph Stream, Gilded Dreams, Rarakasha's Glow, DPC, Marsh Say Hunter? Did somebody mess up? <laughs> Did somebody mess up? What? That's not supposed to... You, you, we usually don't get the first one from the last region. That's a that's a W, but I kind of... I was like, almost can't believe that. So they threw in the first Fontaine domain. Golden Troop, yeah. And Flowers Lost Paradise. Wow, so we get Marsha Say Hunter. I did not expect that. I'll be honest. Teapot load and increase furnishing limit, uh, inventory. All right, we we'll get a little bit more load items. One point six items a previous unit. Uh, you get more. Your limit goes up by two hundred. In the new system, special dishes will be in, will have a, a usage prompt before use in multiple scenarios. Okay, so the NRE. Oh, okay, just like a little prompt for special dishes. Lower ranked foods will be prioritized to avoid. Okay, that's good. That's sort of like low quality of life. You don't like use your best thing immediately. I got a filter and search for the food, but not like the characters. Where's like the characters? The food interface and inventory. The food the food interface in the inventory and cooking system interface will have a filter and search option. 
give us that for the characters please please characters weapons artifacts all that stuff give us give us that menu for everything i hope i hope they didn't announce it and it kind of is in all the menus that'd be nice interface interface operation and display optimizations okay let's see we'll display the current number of condensed resin you have and automatically set the maximum amount you can craft See, it's stuff like that. I appreciate it, you know, better late than never. But how was that not there? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I appreciate it, though. You know, I, I, you know, um, the preview access weapon converted will be displayed in the handset menu. OK, that's actually that saves you a, a menu screen. That's nice. That saves you time. Forging apparatus will automatically set the maximum quantity. Oh, that's nice. Instead of having to, like, take the slider and move it over, it'll just be at 20. Yeah, that's nice. You may you may screw yourself over though too by an accident, so be careful with that one. Be careful on that one. Personal pro personal profile display page optimizations, the number of characters, and max friendship level. Oh, okay, max friendship level. Ooh, okay, that's a flex. <laughs> that's a flex. That's a nice flex. I like that. Number of uh, stars obtained, Spiral Abyss, Imaginary Theater, and. Also, oh, there's more characters now, too. Is it just like this one more row? Oh, and constellations as well. Yeah, okay. You got a nice little flex on the profile. Flex on the profile. You got more characters, constellations, and the friendship. I think the friendship is like the biggest flex, to be honest. Forget the constellations. I think the friendship thing is the biggest flex because I don't think you can see that on someone else's profile. And I, I made sure to get every single character I own the Friendship 10. So that's I'm excited for that. That's kind of like a nice little flex. And you can t you can toggle it too. Okay. All right. I like that one. <laughs> what is this? Developers notice during the adventure there are some quests with long durations and high difficulty. If you enter without warning, you may experience forced teleportation, interrupted processes, and restarts. Therefore, developers have created a long quest prompt function so you can play, plan your adventures accordingly. For quests with long storyline durations, a long quest function will actually trigger to remind you, or as a reminder, to help you arrange your time reasonably. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, that r and r quest, it don't take you a long time. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> like, that's basically what it is. Uh, it also says it will provide required elements weapon types too that helps yeah it seems like kind of catered towards like i mean this goes for everybody but i feel like newer players will enjoy that like they'll, they'll know it's like okay hey buddy you're getting into a very long quest by the way just so you know all right that's probably the funniest change like <laughs> just so you know you got a long quest to do after mentioned optimization 5.0 to reduce a long-term burden on you to optimize resource output. Starting in 5.0, we'll adjust the acceptance criteria for weekly reputation quests, making adjustments to corresponding battle missions, battle pass missions. The reputation level of certain regions reaches the maximum. The weekly reputation quest for that region will no longer be available. What about all the Mora though? Ooh, I don't like that. We'll oh, remove the weekly reputation quest from battle pass weekly missions. Yeah, that's I, I know like it's complete. You don't have to do it anymore because you're done, but you still get 30,000 more every time you do it. So I don't know if I like that one. So I think 5.0 battle passes will be adjusted as follows. Uh, battle pass period This new system, new series for recommended enhancement of five star artifacts will be added. Total 3600 battle pass XP. OK, well, nice. we get these too, the, the potions as well. 30 levels. Dang. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. I mean, I mean, you know, that's pretty much the end game, really. It's just an artifact. So at the end of the day, I guess that will happen. But maybe, maybe not a hundred of them, though. Maybe not a hundred. Oh, a hundred levels, I see. So like 20, 20, 20, 20. All right. Battle pass selling missions. The battle pass XP for completing daily commissions four times will be 150 to 200. Okay. 50 more. And the above adjustments and developers will issue more of a million in one go. Oh, like as like compensation for the change. Yeah, but is, is one million more more than doing your bounties every single week? If that's more than doing your bounties every single week, then that's good. But if it's not, 
I mean, it's still bad, though, because they're just giving you a million more in one go right now to compensate for it. But for the future, you'll, you won't be able to get any more like you used to. So that's actually kind of an L. That's kind of an L. And that's it. All right. So we didn't get our beloved artifact artifact classes, artifact presets. I'm probably going to give up on that by now. I don't think we're ever going to get that. I, I think their attempt at that was what's already in the game. So I think we can probably forget about that. But I like the world level nine is probably the biggest thing. Some some optimizations of the menus. Marcia say Hunter and Golden True being added to the strong box. Um, some menu quality of life stuff. But not, nothing too crazy besides the... Oh yeah, long quest. <laughs> nothing too crazy besides world level nine and some battle pass adjustments, really. All right. But, you know, I mean, I'd say I like more here than I dislike. I, li I like the world level nine, of course, like I said. Um, regional tracking, strong box, <laughs> present on the screen now, saving you some time with the menus, and oh yeah, the profile flex, profile flex. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get more stuff as we're in that land. I know like Fontaine had a pretty good run of quality of life stuff, to be honest. Like if you, if you really think about it, like 4.3 and you know, 4.6 and you know, as we got through Fontaine. So I'm hoping for Natland we'll get something, you know, it'll, it'll progressively get better. But at the end of the day, man, this is almost over. We, we're, we're in Natland, then we get the Sneznaya, and I mean, like, we're almost done. So, you know, I don't know how much these will even matter at that point. But yeah, that'll do it for me. What are your thoughts on the changes for me? I like them. I mean, I definitely, definitely like the World Level 9 thing, for sure. But we'll see what they what they cut going forward this is a very slow process very slow process but that'll be all for me uh let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the, the actual updates and i will catch you guys in the next one